Welcome back to my lecture on applications of uh, talent. So, part B. So, we have uh, discussed about some of the promises and potentials of applications of talent and uh, where it can be used uh, apart from being uh, cleaving DNA molecules uh, for example, as transposes and then for activation and repression and DNA uh, methylation and so on and so forth. So, let us continue our discussion uh, with tail uh, transposes. So, the designer DNA binding domain of uh, tail can be used to guide a transposition to a specific region of a uh, genome. Uh, atoms were made to develop tail transposes by fusing the tail domain with a hyperactive variant of the piggyback uh, transposes. The piggyback PB transposon effectively transposes between vectors and chromosomes uh, using a cut and paste method. The resulting tail transposes enables the user defined genomic area in the human genome to retrieve a cargo DNA in a directed manner. The tail based targeting performed reasonably effectively with more than half of the insertions occurring within uh, 250 base pairs of the tail target sequence and remained and, and the remainder uh, insertion events uh, occurring within uh, 400, 4000 base pairs. However, these approaches currently not practical because frequency of insertions is uh, very low. 0.01% uh, uh, or to 0.014 percent for the stably transfected uh, cells. But the potential of the technology uh, can be displayed uh, through this uh, work. So, let us have a discussion on the tail recombinases. Uh, the tail DNA binding domain has been fused with site specific recombinases SSRs to achieve tailored genomic rearrangements. A hyperactive version of the catalytic domain from the DNA invertase uh, GIN in is N terminally fused to a tail DNA binding domain to form a tail recombinases or tellers. So, you can see here the gene which is being fused to the N terminal of the tail. And these uh, tailors are usually utilized in pairs to carry out uh, recombination. Apart from a DNA uh, binding domain, the recombinase domain has predefined sequence dependent catalytic uh, specificity. Therefore, a tailor pair requires uh, at least uh, partially conserved core recombinase motif of around 26 to 40 base pair located between the two target sites. Flip tail recombinases. Catalytic domain of the tyrosine recombinase uh, flip can be fused with tail DNA binding domain to construct the flip tail recombinases. Like the tail gene recombinases, flip recognition target FRT or FRT like sequence consists of a degenerated 34 base pair motif, 4 to 5 base pair away from the two tail target sites, which is important for the activity of the um, flip tail. So, let us see the schematics of these uh, flip tail uh, recombination, recombinases. In EU, you can see the general mode of target binding of uh, flip tail recombinases. In B, you can see the flip tail and uh, tail flip uh, arrangement of the flip and tail modules and the respective possible relative arrangements of the flip and tail recognition sequences and C is the schematic of the flip tail uh, recombinations here. So, the flip molecule binds to the inner segments of the hybrid ta target sequence called the effort like sequence uh, while the tail module to the outer uh, segments. The hybrid uh, flip tail recombinases can be engineered by fusing the tail module either to the C or N terminus 
of the flip module thus generating enzymes with the flip tal or tal flip architectures you can see in uh, uh, figure B. So, uh, this flip tal uh, uh, you can see here the directionality and uh, this is the tal and uh, the flip is joined in this N terminus and here it is joined in the C, C terminus. So, you have flip tal or tal, tal flip and this is a head to tail and this is a uh, tail to tail. And then uh, there is another kind of a arrangement here you can see uh, tail to tail uh, C terminus to N and then uh, head to head uh, in this uh, head to tail orientation uh, in this uh, figure number 4. The flip tal and tal flip recombinases can be engineered to bind to two possible arrangements of the inner and outer segments of the target sequences head to tail and tail to head as shown in figure uh, B and they can be engineered either with a short linker that connects the flip and tal modules or with a long linker. However, short linker likely forms compact structure which is uh, uh, preferable. So, here you, you see this is the short linker and this is the these are the long linkers these are preferred uh, uh, over these because these linkers will add mass and volume and, and the compact structures are uh, much more uh, preferred. So, we already spoke about this flip tal recombinies construct. Let us have some discussion on the tail based gene editors and uh, regulators. So, here you can see the talon uh, fork one uh, hetero dimer and uh, this is a tail transcriptional activator, this is a tail transcriptional uh, repressor. So, this Focon domain uh, are different um, and that is why they are hetero dimers and this is a tail based transcriptional activator and number C is the tail based uh, transcriptional repressor. So, tail fusions with effector domains offer a broad range of applications like simple locus specific transcriptional activation and repression and through direct induction of epigenetic changes on DNA or on histones. Uh, and using them for visualization and pull down of specific uh, genomic uh, loci. Uh, the application of tail with uh, transcriptional uh, regulations, transcription activator like effector when fused with a functional domain instead of nucleus can regulate expression of endogenous genes. Transcription activators example uh, BP16, BP64 or repressor domains such as the Kruppel associated box crab uh, repressor domain can be fused in a vector by assembling tail DNA sequences with that of the transcription activator or repressor. In 2014, Zhang et al developed a multicolor panel of lentiviral tail crab expression vectors for knockdown of multiple gene targets. It was successful in knockdown of the two gene targets C kit and PU1 in bone marrows of recipient mice. C kit is a receptor tyrosine kinase and mainly expresses in hematopoietic stem cells and multipotential uh, progenitors. PU1 also called SFP I1 is a is an ETS family transcription factor and expressed in uh, hematopoietic st uh, stem cells as well as multipotential uh, progenitors. A multicolor panel of lentiviral tail crab vectors constructed by uh, Jiang et al uh, replacing uh, EGFP with the genes carrying uh, cerulean M cherry iris blast or venous iris geosine expression cassettes was accomplished. The resulting vectors express four fluorescent proteins 
EGFP, Cerulean, Macchiari and Venus. In addition, uh, PLV, tail crab, M cherry blast and PLV, tail crab, Venus, geosin vectors were equipped with two drug resistant genes blast and geosin. So, this is the construction of a multicolor panel of lentiviral vectors which we have discussed and these are the various fluorescent genes EGFP, Seru, Macchiari and Venus and these last two Macchiari and Venus constructs are also given these uh, drug resistance genes blast and iris and, and geomycin. And, uh, when transfected into cells, you can see the expression of these various uh, fluorescence uh, proteins. Let us look into the details of this experiment. So, in A, you can see the maps of the tail crib lentiviral vectors containing a multicolor panel of fluorescent proteins. Tail is fused to the N terminus of the crab transcriptional repressure domain here. Individual fluorescent protein gene is fused in frame with crab via uh, the T to A uh, sequence. Drug resistant genes blast and geo are at the downstream of Macchiari and Venus fluorescent protein genes and separated by an IRS internal ribosome entry site sequence. Uh, EF1 alpha human elongation factor uh, one alpha promoter drives the tail crab fluorescent protein genes and drug resistant genes. Uh, blasty resistance to blastocidin as geo resistance to uh, geosin, uh, IRS and internal ribosome entry site analysis is the nuclear, so nuclear localization signal and these are the images of the uh, 293T cells transfected with individuals. Uh, tail crab expression uh, vectors. Design of tail crab transcriptional repressor for knockdown of C kit and PU uh, 1. A DNA binding domain was designed to bind the ident indicated uh, target uh, sequence within a proximal promoter region upstream of the transcriptional start of mouse C kit and PU uh, 1. Uh, genes uh, respectively and you have uh, these construct already discussed earlier with CRAB and uh, EF1 alpha and this is the target gene uh, and this is the transcription uh, start site. The inhibitory function of the design tail CRAB uh, constructs was tested by generating two luciferase reporters for C kit and PU1 promoters respectively. The luciferase reporter assay revealed that both C kit tail crab uh, and C kit tail to crab repressed the luciferase activity of the C kit reporter more than 20 fold when compared to the control tail crab uh, group. So, here in this uh, diagram you can see luciferase uh, reporters uh, driven by the promoters of mouse C kit and uh, uh, PU1 genes. Uh, on top and uh, bottom uh, respectively. Uh, the inhibitory function of the design tail crepe constructs were tested by uh, generating two luciferase reporters uh, for C kit and uh, PU1 promoters uh, respectively. Uh, luciferase reporter assays revealed that both C kit tail 1 crab and C kit tail to crab repressed the luciferase activity of the C kit reporter uh, more than 20 fold uh, when compared uh, to the control uh, tail crab uh, group. Tails have also been used uh, to make fusion proteins which can be uh, used for epigenomic uh, modification. So, fusion of tail with enzymes uh, which carry out epigenetic modification in an organism uh, has been found.
found to be quite promising. Uh, in epigenetic editing, uh, the majority of the editing we have been discussing till now are uh, genetic editing. We are now uh, using these till based approach uh, for epigenetic editing. Here the DNA sequences of the gene are not changed. So, there is actually no any mutation rather individual DNA molecules or histone proteins are modified with various chemical moieties to regulate gene expression. So, we have to know the difference between epigenetic editing and genetic editing. In genetic editing there is a change of the genetic sequence, but in epigenetic editing there is no any change uh, of the genome, uh, genetic sequence, but some modification either in the base or in the histone protein uh, takes place and this can be done with tail based epigenomic uh, modifiers which are of two types uh, uh, mostly uh, based on the modifier uh, proteins. Uh, proteins that methylate or demethylate individual DNA nucleotides and proteins that modify histones by adding or removing methylation, acetylation, ubiquitination uh, or phosphorylation, uh, phosphorylation signals. Tails can be fused with any of these uh, above epigenetic modifiers to carry out modification to regulate gene expression. So, here you can see uh, some schematics of tail proteins used for epigenomic editing. So, first we need to identify the region of uh, interest. This is the tail target sequence and this is the area of interest. So, the tail person will bind to the tail target sequence and the modifier will act on the area of interest. So, you can see here some kind of modification being done on the DNA basis and here modifications are being done on the uh, histone proteins around which the DNA uh, wraps. So, we can create tail uh, targeted to regions of interest with attached effector. This is a tail protein and this is a tat one. So, we can express the uh, tail uh, construct. So, this tat effector removes uh, DNA methylation. So, uh, the tail binds to this DNA tail target and these uh, modifier tat one will remove these uh, methyl group from here. Okay. So, this is being used for uh, demethylation. So, other effectors like LSD1 can be used to make targeted histone modifications here. So, uh, H3K27 uh, AC or H3K4 uh, ME12. So, these are in brief the concepts of epigenome uh, editing. So, let us first discuss about the proteins that methylate or demethylate uh, individual DNA nucleotides. Expression of target genes uh, can be upregulated or increased or downregulated, decreased by using tail based epigenomic modifiers by directly changing the DNA's methylation state. Uh, 10-11 translocation methyl uh, cytosine uh, dioxygenase uh, 1 or uh, TAT 1, 10-11 uh, translocation <coughs> 1 is fused with tail DNA binding domain which causes demethylation of C at CPG sites which we have shown in the figure earlier and this results in subsequent upregulation of target genes. In contrast, fusion proteins comprised of a tail DNA binding domain and the DNA methyl transferases DNMT3A or DNMT3L or their catalytic domains causes methylation the opposite of TAT1 
of cytosine at target sites and thus decrease the target uh, gene expression. So, by TET1 we can upregulate gene expression and using DNMT3A and DNMT3L we can down regulate gene regulation. The first demethylates, the second one just do the reverse, it, it, it methylates. The second type are the proteins that modify histones. The effector domains of 32 distinct histone modifying enzymes from various organisms uh, have been investigated by Connerman and his associates and they fuse them to the DNA binding domain of tails. They found that several of them exhibited the intended transcription repressing impact on the target gene when their activity was compared uh, in uh, neuron cells. The histone methyl transferases KYP, TZ set 8 and new and the histone deacetylases HDXC8, RPD3, C2A and CIN3A were found to be the most effective ones. A fusion to the lysine specific histone demethylase 1A, LSD1 with tail carried out demethylation of histone without any examined off targets, which ultimately down regulated the expression of target genes in mammalian cells by removing enhancer associated chromatin modifications at their target region. Let us now discuss about uh, one interesting topic where we can use chemicals uh, to do base editing and this is known as chemically induced proximity based editing or CIP based editing. CIP technologies have been integrated in a variety of ways to offer temporal controls in epigenomic editing and regulation. Uh, in the CIP system a small molecule inducer promotes the homo heterodimerization of two corresponding uh, inducer binding adapter proteins that are individually fused to two proteins of interest by controlling the proximity of POIs, proteins of interest, various downstream biological processes can be triggered upon the addition of the inducer. Many of these chemically induced proximity systems are readily reversible and the induced dimerization or biological effects can be reversed upon the removal of the inducer uh, from the system. So, the system is operational only in the presence of the inducer. If you remove the inducer, we can switch off the system, giving us total control. Uh, uh, Longeric uh, and his group uh, exploited the feature of the designable transcription activator like effector DNA binding domain inducible by chemical inducer and a, a protease. So, these are called as chemically inducible tails and here the heterodimization approach is followed. So, there is a schematic representation of the heterodimerization approach. So, you can see here the tail bound to uh, DMRA and DMRC bound to VP16 in the presence of some molecule like uh, rapamycin here, they dimerize DMRA till DMRC VP16 will dimerize and, and uh, uh, some effect will be there as a result of this dimerization. So, tail is fused to DMRA domain and VP16 is fused to DMRC domain. The tail domain can freely bind to the target DNA and we know the mechanism of tail binding to specific DNA targets. And here the addition of rapamycin triggers interaction between DMRA and DMRC leading to their dimerization. Uh, the VP16 fused with DMRC can recruit transcriptional activators to activate gene expression. So, uh, these VP16 DMRC cannot itself 
bind to the DNA. We are using tail fused with DMR A which binds to DNA and which allows the DMRC bound to uh, BP16 bound to DMRC uh, to form active partners which can switch on the gene expression. So, there is another approach the reversibly locked approach to do different kind of work and these are also uh, chemically inducible tails and this is the schematic representation of the reversibly locked approach. Let us study the figure first. So, this is a rapa tail which means there is a tail domain and and you can see this with uh, the uh, uh, BP16 bound here and some other uh, components and you see here uh, DMR uh, D and then uh, under self uh, uh, conditions uh, this rapamycin bind to these uh, domains and it do not allow uh, them to lock or bound to one another. And uh, here you can see uh, some other kind of uh, binding orientation. Let us now try to understand which will switch on the gene and which will uh, switch off uh, the gene. This uh, locked uh, rapa tail uh, is composed of uh, tail uh, BP16 uh, fused to homodimerization domains on both end. The DMRD is here and DMRD is also here. The locked molecule is uh, topologically inhibited from binding to DNA. Okay. In the presence of uh, rapamycin, DMRD domains are inhibited from uh, dimerizing and the linear effector binds to the target DNA. The molecule is also unlocked by uh, proteolysis uh, with TVP which removes the DM, DMRD domain from one side and uh, now this molecule is able to bind to the uh, DNA uh, easily because there is no any uh, restrictions anymore. Let us look into covalently locked and uninducible tail VP16 direct uh, 15 approach. The semantic representation of the covalently locked approach the uh, sick tail is uh, composed of uh, tail uh, BP16 fused to in teen uh, fragments that cycle cyclize the molecule uh, through uh, splicing. So, uh, there is a splicing occurring here due to which there is a cyclization. The locked molecule is uh, topologically inhibited from uh, binding to uh, DNA. Uh, TVP can linearize this effector and allow uh, DNA binding uh, and reporter gene uh, expression. And uh, here uh, it is unable to bind and there is no any uh, gene uh, expression. So, in D you can see the schematic representation of the uh, uninducible tail VP16 uh, direct uh, uh, fusion uh, approach. Uh, apart from inducing tails with the help of uh, chemicals, we can also uh, induce them with the help of light. So, this is these are the light inducible uh, epigenome uh, editing uh, approach. So, light inducible transcriptional effectors LIT lights were developed by Connerman et al. in 2013 to modulate the transcriptional dynamics and local epigenome landscapes of 
endogenous genes. Uh, two proteins derived from Arabidopsis thaliana, the light sensitive uh, cryptochrome 2, uh, Cry2, and its interacting partners uh, CIB1 dimerize upon photoirradiation at 466 uh, uh, nanometer. So, these Cry2 and CIB1 when exposed to light they will form uh, dimers. So, you can see here CIB1 and uh, Cry2 in the presence of light they are forming uh, dimers. And here we are using uh, tail uh, to produce a tail Cry2 fusion protein. And this dimerization of CIB1 and Cry2 is exploited uh, for epigenome uh, editing. Cry2 and CIB1 are fused respectively to tail genome targeting module and VP64 uh, uh, or a variety of epigenome effectors including HDACs, methyl uh, transferases, HEP inhibitors as well as HDAC and HMT recruiting uh, proteins. These uh, epitails change the levels of H3K9 uh, Me1, H4K20 Me3, H3K27 uh, Me3 and several others and suppress the expression of GRM2 and uh, NeuroC2 in primary neurons and uh, Neuro2A cells in response to uh, light irradiation. So, you can see in this figure that light induces the dimerization of Gry2 and uh, CIB1 to direct uh, epigenome uh, modifiers to tail targeting sites for uh, epigenome uh, editing. Talon has been widely used in many uh, applications in disease biology like inactivation of hepatitis B virus uh, replication in cultured cells and uh, this can this has a potential to be translated into therapies. Then uh, also uh, talon mediated gene correction in integration uh, free beta thalassemia uh, induced uh, pluripotent stem cells. And uh, for the application in biochemical uh, production, uh, example talon mediated targeted mutagenesis of caffeic acid O methyltransferase in highly polyploid sugar cane improves cell wall composition for production of uh, bioethanol. So, in today's world where there is a lot of demand for uh, bioethanol, uh, talon is indeed a very, very uh, promising uh, technology. And others like transcription activator like uh, effectonuclease is uh, used for uh, metabolic engineering for enhanced fatty, production, fatty acid production in uh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So, this can have a huge impact in the food industry as well as uh, the fuel industry. So, before we end uh, let us uh, make a comparison between the two technology platforms we have discussed uh, so far. We discussed in both the cases the, their basic biology and then we discussed how uh, they are uh, constructed or uh, synthesized and what are the uh, bioinformatic tools or uh, softwares available to carry out uh, their design or uh, their optima optimized uh, operations. So, uh, Talon and uh, Jadefin are uh, mostly based on the FOC1 uh, nucleus uh, protein and which is fused to a DNA binding uh, protein domain which is zinc finger in the case of Jadefin and uh, which are tails in the case of Talon. So, the difference of tails in Jadefin uh, is the a protein DNA code they follow which allows specific recognition between one tail and one uh, nucleotide. Uh, JFN based technology has disadvantages of the complexity and high cost of protein domain uh, construction for each genome locus and the probability of inaccurate cleavage of target DNA due to single nucleotide substitutions. Uh, Talon can solve some of the problems associated with JFN. However, the typical size for a cDNA coding and coding uh, a talon is approximately 3 kb, whereas a cDNA encoding a JFN is only approximately 1 kb. 
So, larger size makes talent harder to deliver and express a pair of talents into cells compared with jellyfins. And uh, we have seen how uh, uh, large constructs uh, with uh, both the jellyfin pairs can be loaded into a single vector and, and ensure uh, its, its uh, efficiency and efficacy. Now, let us uh, discuss in brief a little bit about the two technology platforms which we have discussed so far, Talon uh, versus uh, JFN. And we know they are uh, uh, mostly based on the nuclear uh, called FOC1 uh, and a binding domain uh, which is uh, tail in the case of Talon and Jing fingers in the case of uh, JFN and both are uh, proteins. So, these are mostly DNA binding uh, proteins fused to a nucleus domain uh, with which we can carry out uh, genome editing. Briefly the difference of TAILS and ZFN is the protein DNA code uh, they follow uh, which allows specific recognition between one tail and uh, one uh, uh, nucleotide. So, here uh, in ZFN there are 3 to 4 nucleotides recognition by one zinc finger and here uh, one uh, nucleotide by one uh, RVD. The JFN based technology has uh, disadvantages of the complexity uh, and high cost of protein constr uh, domains construction for each genome locus and the probability of inaccurate cleavage of target DNA due to single uh, nucleotide uh, substitutions. Uh, talent can uh, solve some of the problems associated with JFNs. Uh, However, the typical size uh, for a cDNA encoding a talent is approximately 3 kb, whereas a cDNA encoding a JFN is only approximately 1 kb. And we have discussed uh, how uh, both the uh, left or forward or right or uh, reverse talent uh, JFN uh, can be loaded into a single uh, vector and uh, their co-expression can be ensured to increase the efficiency and efficacy uh, of, of the process. Uh, larger size makes talent harder to deliver and uh, express a pair of talents into cells uh, compared to uh, jellyfins. So, other things are uh, as laid out in the field. Uh, you can see that uh, the target sequence uh, 2 into 12 nucleotide and more, this is little bit higher 2 into uh, 16 both are sensitive uh, methylations and then off target is quite high in JFN, which is a disadvantage and this is uh, low in talent uh, which is a uh, advantage in spite of it being hard to deliver due to its uh, bigger size. And as already told the cost is expensive in case of JFN and it is time consuming and difficult and uh, JFN uh, talent is relatively uh, inexpensive and less uh, time uh, consuming. So, some of the references uh, with which uh, this lecture has been uh, prepared. Uh, thank you for your patient hearing. Mm -hmm.